we begin with a major development and a shooting that happened this afternoon in Pasco. We know at least one man was shot and our cameras were there as police just handcuffed another man and took him in for questioning. Don Granice has been on the scene since officers were first called out to the intersection of 2nd and Clark this afternoon. Don, what's the latest? Shane and Meredith, they are actually cleaning here. We are in, uh, on Clark Street in Pasco between 1st and 2nd Avenue. Right behind me here, they are cleaning uh, the damage, broken shards of glass that they're sweeping right now from this shooting. We know that it happened right here on the doorstep. One man was shot in the chest. He is now at Cadillac, and he is in stable condition. When uh, officers first responded, there were complaints that he was uh, having trouble breathing. Within a matter of hours, while we were here, actually, another man taken into custody. Now, that man uh, was seen by witnesses, witnesses that we spoke to earlier and that you saw if you were watching our five o'clock newscast did describe that man to officers and uh, they knew exactly what he looked like. And uh, one of the directors at the Union Gospel Mission knew what that description was, spotted a man he thought looked exactly like that man and called it into police. Police took it from there. Uh, as I was leaving, I went up the alley and seen him walking down by the post office. So I circled around the block, and so then I, uh, I got a hold of uh, Kadur, one of the other witnesses, up the street and had him come down and confirm. But yeah, he was drunk, and he would just come walking down the alley and just uh, settled in there next to the mission. So did you report this to police? Yes. Our cameras were rolling as police began to arrest this man, this uh, what we believe is one of the prime suspect in this case. Now, uh, we do know that uh, as our cameras were rolling, uh, he was taken into custody. Uh, we also do know uh, that, that, again, that man that was taken to Cadillac is in stable condition. As for identifying whether this man was the man who actually did fire the gun, the witness that we did speak to said that was the guy that she saw. After she did see him being apprehended by officers, she said, that's the face of the man that she did see fire that gun and on Monday she will uh, wh whether or not she will be able to confirm in a lineup for police uh, exactly identify that man but we do know he is in custody with officers we're live in Pasco tonight Don Granice NBC right now